very good game here. I'm going to take a look at the amount of backhand shots versus the amount of forehand shots. And I've got two guys here who are both uh, obviously very good. And it's quite a close game. So therefore, it's not as though one person's actually dictating play. So the game's in the balance at the moment. And um, it is quite a good game and everything as well. Um, you'll see that most of the shots in this, these um, games are going to be down the back. And that's because this court is really, really quite a fast court. And the ball gets to the front and bounces back towards the um, tee a little bit quick. I'm just going to speed it up now so you actually get to see the whole game and show you that I haven't cut it in any way and all the rest of it. So the, the, the hits will happen really quick. And um, it's, I don't know how much faster it is, but it's quite fast. So you notice these guys are trying to attack from around about the service box area. And they're working on... Um, just trying to get good quality length in it and dominate front position and keep control from there. So the little counters on the side, I've got a counter on the side, which is, I'll just grab an arrow here. Right, and so it comes from over here. That just clocks up every time you get one shot over each side. So if it's a forehand side shot, you'll get this one will clock up one extra hit. And if it's a backhand side, you'll get this one will clock up one extra hit. And um, that's just how it will work. So it's pretty cool. And um, we'll get to see a whole game. It's not a complete game. It started at 2 all. Um, first couple of rallies were just like really short nothing really. So um, I just started at 2 all. And this is, you see, it's quite interesting with this game, just watching it. And um, I'll talk through it a little bit as we go. But every time somebody gets front position and drives you short, the rally is invariably over within like two shots. As soon as the ball goes down the front, it's just about over straight away. Yet yeah, it's very difficult for these guys to actually get the ball short. So if we take a look at our outcomes, we've got 90 shots were played to the backhand area, so to this area here, and 49 shots were played to the forehand area. So it's 65% of the time, we, the player chose to go to the backhand side, and 35% of the time chose to go to the forehand side. Now the the reason is, is because you've got so many more options on the forehand side. Players can actually choose to do all sorts of things on the forehand side. They can, because they've got a greater reach, they can take the ball further behind their body and they can actually just hook their wrist around a lot more and have more options. Things like both can happen really quickly and really easily. You can just skew a ball cross court really fast and you can actually get it quite low and quite strong and quite hard. Um, and as I said, you can take the ball from behind your body. In the backhand side, it's not quite the same. The backhand side, it's a lot easier to read a body. So you can read it, read your opponent much easier. And secondly, you've got, um, it's, you can keep the ball tighter and there's less options. It's much more difficult to get behind the ball. And you'll see a lot more people will actually go from here and they'll lift the ball up and they'll pitch back down to, to this area and just swap positions with their opponent. And so the backhand side becomes a safer side to hit, the safest area to strike the ball to. And so you can actually cover off a rally and just take the front position, and it allows you to then attack on a, on a less powerful shot, so therefore all those short shots. The short shots, which are these um, straight kills, and the cross courts, even to here, these sort of shots, and even the cross court deep drives. They all come in really well. So I thought you'd find it quite interesting. So there's another story. These guys are really, really quite good. Um, so what I like to tell juniors, although it says that we've got like 65%, I like to tell juniors that we go 70%. So 70% all shots should go to the backhand side. And the reason for that is because if you get players of lower standards, the backhand is generally weaker in all areas. In other words, they don't have the options, they don't have the power, and they don't have the consistency or the control to get the quality target or to keep the ball really tight. The power is a big one, and they can't um, lunge and get to the ball. They're not as close to the ball when they strike it. So for uh, club standard players, I'd say that should be more like a 70%, maybe 70, heading, heading towards 75% of all shots. And I talk to players that I coach and tell them that Basically, what we should be looking at, it's like a boxer, that when somebody, you, you hit the ball to here and hit it to here and hit it to here and hit it to here, 
and when the ball gets shot out over to the forehand side you just push them back into the corner and just keep working them and keep working them until they play a poor shot and then you attack to other areas of the court which will then drag them over here and then you can cross court the ball back to the open area which is the weak area so if you can understand that um, hopefully you can understand that it works really well and then you've got to choose which shots you should be going cross court on because you can't just relentlessly play everything down the side wall so what that would be a suggestion would be any ball that lands short you can potentially go cross court on or a volley you can go cross court on um, wide shots off the back wall if they come a long way off you can then go cross court on because they're not bad but generally anything that's relatively tight you'll go down the wall and anything that's deep you'll go down the wall but it should be you should only attack cross court generally from the backhand side on any short shot from the forehand side it come, becomes a lot different because of those options that you've got you can actually go cross court off the back wall so when the ball comes off the back wall enough that you can get behind it because you're hitting across to their weaker side so when you're hitting across the weaker side and if you've got a full power swing it's a not a bad option to go across to, to the weaker side or the area with as mat, without as much power or options um, definitely in this area this attacking area through the center you should be looking at cross court and you cross court hard and um, attack the ball to the floor then it goes up to the side wall and then down so a cross court from here would be across here be across here and then it can go up there and then it will bind down in the back corner and will force a most if it comes out so that works really well and um, so the area of forehand and even volleys is really good to um, cross court from and everything as well or you can attack short you can attack with both you can a boast on forehand is really good as well simply because you're going across to the weak side and that works really well so too many lines on the screen there. so there you go it's an interesting thing to look at to understand that 65 percent at a psa level standard player um, go to the backhand side 35% of the times forehand. It's because these guys have generally got some serious ability on the forehand side. And for um, a lower standard player, I say that should be 70 to 75% of all shots should go to this backhand area. If you can actually run with those sort of systems, give it a shot in your game, and then attack on the cross courts that are short and all volleys. So you attack on a cross court which drags your opponent over here and then it opens up the shot to the weaker side and that's a really good game plan to work on so it should be a base game plan game plan that you set yourself with and then i think you'll actually really excel with whatever skill level you have and whatever capability you have it will actually enhance your current game plan that you have so there you go great game plan backhand's one to go for mm -hmm.